Want to get back, though, to that change at the top of the psychedelics biotech company, MindMed. Last month, the company's uh, founder and CEO, J.R. Ron, who we've had on this show many times, stepped down from his leadership role. And now in an interim position is Robert Barrow, who was chief development officer at MindMed, and he joins us now. Robert, good to meet you here. First off, just why the change? Why did J.R. Ron uh, step down from that leadership position of the company he founded? Yeah, I, I think, uh, first of all, thanks for having me. I, it's been uh, an exciting time at MindMed, and, and JR and I were, were very close and, and certainly discussed the, the transition as he was was on his way out. Uh, I think JR, I think it's commendable. He, he recognized that the company needed a, a uh, further evolution and on the next leg of its journey, and he and I had several discussions prior to his departure and, and felt like this was a natural transition. And uh, we are in that process of, of doing a permanent search, but uh, really happy with the direction we've taken since uh, since the transition was made last month. So then to that point, what is next uh, for MindMed? What is the direction that you're hoping the company takes on now, perhaps under the leadership of a new CEO? Yeah, so regardless of the position, I, I've uh, been in, in my position as chief development officer since the beginning of this year and really uh, at the foundations of our development strategy and our R&D strategy. So uh, re regardless of the CEO position, uh, we will continue on that strategy and, and the direction forward with our clinical development programs. We have uh, three clinical studies that we're intending to launch uh, late this year and early next. We've announced a number of another uh, other exciting initiatives including our, our programs uh, in, in pain and other CNS disorders. Uh, we, we've been bringing in top talent from industry uh, across the board and, and all of our leadership positions and, and on our scientific advisory board, bringing in leaders in psychiatry and, uh, and, and digital medicine like uh, Dr. Maurizio Fava and, and Peter Bergathon. So we, we hope to continue uh, progressing our R&D programs and really accelerate what we're doing and, and leverage all of the great people we have, the great collaborations we have externally and really drive our developments programs forward to be the, the leader in this space. You have to admit uh, that the space that we're talking about has become a lot more crowded recently. Uh, just today, I think the fifth psychedelics related company is going public field trip. We're actually talking to the chairman of that company in the next hour. But um, how are you going to continue to differentiate MindMed? And do you see consolidation being inevitable? May some of these smaller psychedelics companies be bought up by some of the larger biotech companies? I think it's, it's a great point. There's been a lot of excitement from investors, a lot of excitement from, from founders uh, of new entrants into the space. Ultimately, the cream is going to rise to the top. And, and really, the way we approach drug development is as drug developers, is, is as uh, professionals from the pharmaceutical industry. I think there's a lot of, of storytelling that happens with other organizations that uh, is, is driving some of that excitement and that we, we hope everyone is, is successful in this space. And I think it's a, a very it's a big world where we can all uh, be successful and benefit patients. But how we're going to differentiate is to continue to take a, a rigorous scientific and, and pharmaceutical development approach. So we've again bringing in in top people, uh, bringing in novel assets. I think if you look at the the space uh, and, and the area of focus of other organizations, psilocybin pops up to the top of the list for for almost every psychedelic company. At the moment, we, we are not studying psilocybin. Our, our lead assets are LSD and an Ibogaine analog called 18MC. So we will continue to look at new programs. We are always looking at, at opportunities to consolidate the industry and, and bring in uh, valuable assets that we can accelerate and, and our teams can bring forward and, and to market ultimately. Uh, but but the, the bottom line of, of our approach is that we have a very uh, focused approach that relies on the, the tricks of the trade effectively. What we know as drug developers can be successful in getting drugs approved and ultimately a, establishing a framework where we can roll out the therapies uh, leveraging the current infrastructure that exists today. So often we hear the story that uh, the, the mental health care system is completely broken and effectively needs to be burned down and, and start over again with, with specialty clinics for psychedelics. We don't, we don't subscribe to that story. We believe that uh, we can generate a number of valuable tools for clinicians and that by, by putting those tools into the market, ultimately, physicians can, can leverage the systems that exist, improve on them, get more efficient, but not tear it all down and start over again. So as we think about regulatory approvals and our, our development approach, it's always aimed to that, uh, thinking about how we can 
where there are, are prior assumptions or strategic missteps by the industry at large and how we can can leverage those opportunities into to, uh, successful commercial and, and regulatory developments. All right, we're gonna leave it there. Robert Barrow, Interim CEO at MindMed. Thanks for making time for us today.